Amazon's rings of power failed, completely failed to, to capulate an audience. 37% of people maybe watched the entire thing through, unlike Game of Thrones where majority of people watched it all, but the Amazon's rings of power just gets completely worse for season two. Well, I've got a lot of different things here to show you today, so don't forget to like, subscribe, share, and if you wanna support the channel, I do have a Patreon and membership set up. It would be muchly appreciated if anybody, anybody wants to jump up on that and just help support the channel even a little bit. So please take a look at that today. Links in the description below. Rings of power, a horse gets killed, a fire breaks out, and now there's a $250 million lawsuit. While on set filming this new season, they had a horse pass away on set, pretty much cursing the entire knowledge and the entire thing of this season. The Rings of Power didn't fare very well with fans. I'm surprised it even got a second season, but of course, they're throwing all the money they can at this show to try and generate something. Well, the horse that died actually went into cardiac failure. It caused a few people, namely like PETA, to stand up and say, oh, you shouldn't be using animals on, on sets and all this other things. And yeah, it was a trained horse. It was, it was done by horse masters. It was done by a company that does this. And that's part of entertainment. Unfortunately, these things do happen in the course of just walking around on a farm. Horses die. They happen. This one just happened to not show any signs, and it just happened to pass out dead from cardiac arrest. Um, cursing. Pretty much cursing the entire thing. Then, while on set, a fire breaks out. These things happen too. Thankfully, no one was injured, but a fire catching on set. I don't know if this is electrical. I don't know what this was. Let's see what it says here. Uh, a huge fire broke out on the set of Lord of the Rings on Monday, April 3rd. Filming came to a halt for the second season of the Lord of the Rings prequel when smoke and large flames appeared at the site of the Bray Studios in Windsor. Thankfully, no one, uh, none of the cast or crew were injured and no one had to evacuate as the blaze was contained to a single story warehouse building in the Black back lot so it sounds like it just happened to be close by uh firefighters were called to the scene and spent over four hours that's some serious fire that's a serious fire that's probably electrical fire is what i'm thinking royal bursang fire and rescue statement read at 12 26 p.m on monday april 3rd we received reports of a fire at bray studios uh the crews from black now saw crews upon arriving crews discovered the fire in the single story storage workshop located away from the filming site firefighters equipped with breathing apparatus and three hose reels and uh, and a main jet to extinguish the fire that's four hoses on one fire that's a pretty big fire that's that's no small fire that's that's pretty big they were on scene for approximately four hours and 35 minutes investigation to determine what it is that sounds like it was a uh electrical someone probably had a spark or maybe a welder on set uh just happened to have a bin, a bin catch fire or something that sounds pretty serious uh it doesn't sound like it was made um anyone was in the vicinity of that the balls on this guy an author is suing amazons and jrr tolkien's grandson claiming they infringed on the Lord of the Rings fan fiction. So this person published a uh, a story on September in September 2022 and now he's suing saying that the Lord of the Rings the Rings of Power series was his fan fiction. The author author of Fellowship of the King wants 250 million because he says Amazon and the Tolkien estate stole his ideas for the Rings of Power. The author is suing uh, Amazon and Lord of the Rings uh, Tolkien estate for what he claims is copyright infringement of the Rings of Power, last year's TV show based on appearances of the Lord of the Rings trilogy and The Hobbit, Demetrius Polytron? The perplexing answer is that Polytron, Tron, it sounds like a Transformer, published an, an Amazon, ironically, a work of the Lord of the Rings fanfiction called The Fellowship of the King, 
which has actually been removed off Amazon. Surprisingly enough, this guy still has a profile on Amazon. He began writing, got awards in junior high and high school, uh, National Forensics League Regional uh, Championships in Original Pose and Poetry. Yay. Yay. Good job. A national published uh, poet at 18. He moved to Los Angeles after serving in the Navy. Yada, yada, yada. His first screenplay. The unknown actor tells the story of how Shakespeare became Shakespeare. So he has a history of following other other uh, authors. Interesting, is it not? Um, so his book recommendations, they've got the Fellowship of the Ring on the one side here. And then the Fellowship of the King, which is his... Look, Let's check out the book details. Oh, I'm sorry. You get to see Rocky the Amazon dog instead. No real surprise there that the dog comes up instead of his book. But if you go over to Goodreads, it does give you a synopsis. This book is rated at a 1.3. That that that's not good signs. Um so here's the thing. Here just looking at that a 1.3 and the Amazon show did how good? I'm not even sure. Does this really reflect it? I, I, it probably does. Long before Sauron, the original Rings of Power were forged by Elven Lords, Celebrim Bor and Dwarven Smith, Narvi. Uh, near the Misty Mountains, the, uh, the first ra magic rings were the powerful and came after they were corrupted by Sauron to be fought in the War of the Rings. Now, this was published September 22, 2022. So it's not that long. I, I'm pretty sure Lord of the Rings, The Rings of Power came out before this book was even published, but that doesn't matter. It means he could have had it in transcripts. There's two people currently reading, eight want to read this apparently, but you go down here, he's got two five-star reviews, 23 one-star reviews, nothing in between. So you got to sit there and, and wonder, mate, you're going to get sued. Uh, yeah, so there's there's a few things here with this. Uh, yeah, this is pretty bad fanfic. You can read most uh, of it here at Google Books, but I'm not here to give it a bad rating. I'm here because I'm so amused by the lawsuit. Right, so people are checking this out because of the lawsuit. I generally do not know who to root for in this embarrassing mess. Uh, on one hand, you have the delusional hack writer Demetrius, who doesn't seem to know anything about copyright law and thinks he can sell Lord of the Rings fanfic without without owning the rights. Now, this is a very interesting topic when it does come to the copyright situation because the derivative work of it afterwards having cited the original works the original works goes back to the original owner and in this being a derivative work i think has to cite the original work so now you have to sit there and weigh the differences but because they made a show that he believes is based on his book then it's a little bit different of an idea. It, it just kind of perpetuates going forward. And in some cases, Lord of the Rings could sue him back and say, his work is derived of ours. We actually own the copyright and the IP because he is now using names and, and places of things that are that we've made up in his books. So then it becomes a litigation nightmare in that sense. And usually you just don't try and push this envelope your your book is going to stand on its own and it doesn't look like it's standing on its own to begin with derivative fanfic garbage uh, an unauthorized sequel of lord of the rings uh that the author would have you believe is an original work it's not it's junk like the reviews are not good there is only like 23 25 reviews total nothing in between no no positive they're all positive or all negative and Usually when you see these things, you know it's just people coming out there trying to either support or or deny this type of thing. Well, The Rings of Power is nothing but controversial in itself, and now we have many more stories coming out of this train wreck that people just cannot look away from. So, if you couldn't look away from this video, please let me know down below. Like, subscribe, share this out there, and please, if you can, rethink and maybe drop on the memberships or the patreon today i will see you very very soon this is proud canadian phoenix cinder shadow signing off here <laughs>